gagné un tournée Flandre avec ce maillot distinctif, ce maillot symbolique, ce maillot de champion du monde. Allez, regardez comment il salue la foule. Allez, on va aller pour montrer cette démonstration. C'est trop tard. Ah là voilà la barrière quand même. Allez, garde un peu dessus parce que là. Il est capable de tout. Il est capable. Uh, this is a bit crazy. I decided to stop for a while. Uh, it was really hot. And I'm trying, I'm going to try and capture how steep the road actually is. So it goes all the way down there. And then it just like rises. It's like really steep. Uh, I'm going right to the top of the mountain, if I'm not mistaken. I have been climbing like for a while now. So even even some trucks are like stopping halfway through, as they cannot get up on the mountain. And it's getting like really hot. The day is really heating up. As I thought, it's not going to be that hot. I didn't take my uh, pilgrimage hat with me today. I actually have a sweater. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah. This is like the first real, really, really challenging one. So I guess I'm going to get off my bike and just like push it. So let's see how this goes. See you at the top of the mountain. Okay, fun part. I got up it and it doesn't do it justice the slope but well, I have to go down it and then up again oh this is crazy and the road is quite narrow so I'm not sure if I should like continue pushing the jane shower get on it well to be honest I'm quite sure there was another way to get here I don't believe people actually like walk or cycle the way I just did Reminds me of the time in Croatia when we were going to our Airbnb to stay. We took a septine, septine route that the locals usually don't actually take. Yeah, but this is nice, this is different. I sort of haven't enjoyed it in a weird and twisted way. Right now I'm sort of on a on a road which will lead me straight to the temple. But the funny thing is, uh I have like this ringing sound in my in my ears and sort of everything went pitch black in front of my eyes. So I decided to rest for a moment because I even can't like cycle when it's uh, when there was no undulation on the road. So yeah. This was a challenge and a half. Water break. As soon as you enter the temple feels like you are in a different world, sort of gives you vibes of the Eden Garden. The town of Itano itself is really remote. About the temple, it is said that Kukai carved the statue of Dainichi Nyora here and is said to have founded this temple. Throughout its history, this temple went through a continual cycle of disuse and reconstruction. I have been mentioning Kukai a lot. Kukai actually is Kobo Daishi. He is one of the most well-known figures in Japanese history and is accredited with many great deeds. Throughout Japan, one often hears his name and one can visit the many places that he is said to have visited during his life. He became the 8th patriarch of Shingon Buddhism and actively spread the teaching of his new religion in Japan. As well, he is accredited with founding the Shikoku pilgrimage and so people today believe that this route is a journey which follows his footsteps. However, people also believe that Kobo Daishi accompanies pilgrims as they do the pilgrimage as shown by the phrase Jogo Nenen, same practice to people. Kuka is often called by the more familiar term Odaishi-san, which demonstrates how close he is to the hearts of the people. 
It is not known whether or not Gilgai actually founded the Shikoku pilgrimage. However, pilgrimage throughout the centuries who have traveled this route believe that the benevolent Gilgai will always be there for comfort and protection. The main hall and Daishi hall are connected via a walkway and 33 cannon statues are on display as visible in the video right now. There is a pilgrim's awe. During my pilgrimage, first, I will believe that Kobo Daishi will save all living beings and that he will always be with me. Number two, I will not complain if things do not go well while on the pilgrimage, but consider such experiences to be part of a setting training. Number three, I will believe that all can be saved in the present world and I will continually ask to be able to achieve enlightenment. So this was the first uh, temple of the day. I'm going to say uh, probably the hardest journey I have had to take this far. And this temple is very different from the first three, as it's very small and compact. Um, so right now, uh, I'm going to go to the fifth temple, which is called Ji Zoji. Until the late 16th century, many military leaders prayed to the main deity, which was carved by Kukai, because they believed it would help them win battles. They also gave a lot of support to the temple, so it grew in size. There is a huge 800-year-old ginkgo tree between the main hall and the Ishi hall, and there is a well where you can hear the sound of a single drop of water hitting the water surface besides the main hall. The Gohyaku 500 Rakan hall behind the temple contains 200 wooden statues of Arhats, which are enlightened disciples of Buddha. And to enter it, you have to pay 200 yen extra. To be honest, I just hope that uh, the road is going to be less hilly. Yeah, this is a beautiful place. Very peaceful.